you guys to take it away. These things are 500 bucks, but they look good. We're still talking <laughs> about them Segway shoes. Let's get it though. Game number two chance. Let's get this train back on the rails. Man, we're having way too much fun today. Seriously, though, these look dangerous. Like, and I'm catching strays too. You don't Blake's over here like, hey, you're so poor you didn't know those existed. I didn't know those existed. Like, Dude, is yes. this how I find out? Like, I'm, I'm just saying like, you don't even like just step on it. You have to wear knee pads. These look dangerous. All right, well, we've got plenty of teams. All your favorite creators now getting into game two. Of course, so we did have a look at the leaderboard a moment ago. So 25 teams, it's a much more, it's a small affair. It's a soiree. It's a private party and you weren't invited, but you do get to watch from a distance, friends. And that is what we're all about here. This is going to be a fun one. First, uh, first game goes the way of Team Huskers. They've set themselves up nicely. As long as they don't get absolutely dinged in this one, they should be good going forward. We're going to play six games overall. We've already played one. Game number two. Let's get it. In off memory, right? I think Rated Squad was in 14th or 15th. Actually, I think 15th exactly. So, I mean, they might have gotten the point bonus, so maybe not in the worst spot in the world, but... Certainly a hill to climb. Tommy, I believe, was in about 12. Huskers, obviously, the clear-cut frontrunner. Uh, and then even the phase guys, I wasn't yeah, too sure. Sh they might have been out of the top 15. One team, one team, I think. But far out. Changes, I'm though. set it up. I, I couldn't quite remember. And I think I'm 100% I'm with what Blake said about, like, you get one stinker. You're entirely allowed to have one game that is really bad. And then after that, it's got to be okay. And you probably have one or two great ones. And then that's how you win the tournament. But across the board, I mean, we've got everyone. We've got Legion. We've got Swag. We've got Iceman, Isaac, and we've got Jukies. Everyone's having a good time roaming around. And again, there's been some clarifications around rules about what weapons we aren't using and whatnot. No LMGs. One snipe per team. Team Swag, here we go. Biffle, low left, the Phenom. One of the finest to ever do it. An absolute demon in the Warzone world. And he's got a riot shield, so uh, that man is well experienced with the ways of Warzone uh, as well. No hot drops or like no craziness for this team. I know last go around, they were just like, you know, shooting players out of the sky. They were ready to take down Breadman off the jump. This time, though, maybe taking a, a bit of the time. I see he's got what, the, the Carbine MP40? He's got the uh, M40, sorry. Whatever it is, the ground loot is solid. It looks like the whole way across. Based on the pings, there might be a team nearby. Couldn't quite tell. We will see. This is the team currently sitting in first place here. Huskers, Unrational, Scummin. And they had a they had a really good round. Like again, just to start things off, non-stop kills. Every single time we dived in, they were ripping someone, cracking plates. And now they're kind of chilling things out. And they can afford to take risk as well. Like, they can just feel free. Be hyper-aggressive. Go find those kills already. Hunting someone down a, a parallel to what they had from game number one of the, the type of break they're looking for. And honestly, again, the game they had last go around, that's about as clinical as it gets, right? Get the bounties as quick as you can. The faster you get everybody self reses, the better. Uh, and then even going for those recons a little bit later on just to get the intel for the final circles. That is... Absolutely the way to go. Now you go for the crisp shots, mount it up with the controller. It's like I couldn't quite find the kill because that bounty chase ensues. Still two minutes to get it done. Huskers, the Clan 98, I mean, look. If anyone's going to do it right now, if anyone's going to sink it in the back of the net, it's Huskers. But they're right there chasing down Legion, man. He's, he is running. I'd love to see and hear from Legion, if we could. I've always been more interested in the prey than the predator. Especially someone like Legion, who you know he's sweating. Dude, he's absolutely sweating trying to stay alive here. He takes these tournaments very seriously. Oh no, Scumman's on him. He's close. There he goes. That's the down. And that was Legion. That's the bounty target now down. Team's still there to help out. Here comes the rest of the squad. Oh, yeah. I mean, Husker squad right now with the bounty. They are the second best bounty hunter right after Dog. Ooh. One player does get dropped, but again, you get your SMG up oh. close. Someone is there. He gets dropped as well. Legion's team coming up big for the moment. Huskers, once again, left alone by his teammates. He's got a clutch. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Still hitting tags. He's alive, but Huskers run. I mean, the squad's in the ghoulie now, but that went from, like, 
We've got this. Oh, it's only Legion to... No, no, no. We're, we're two down. Back it up. Do not die. What a plot twist. Wow. 2020 is wild. 2022, sorry. Is that it? Yeah, 2022. Sorry. I forgot what year it was. Well, 2020 was wild, but 2022. Whew. Oscar's still going, though. All right, Gulag cam up. It's coming. MP40 in hand. Let's go. Oh, my. Okay. There's one. There you go. Can he clean him up? Maybe not. We'll see you in a second if Scumming does win the Gulag. Oh, no! It was Legion, <laughs> dude! He did it! He did it! Oh, my God. Legion just stuck his neck out a little too long. Scumming wins the Gulag. Oh, okay. Everything's kind of balancing itself out now, but... All right, here we go on Rational. Slipping. Sliding. Iceman Isaac on the other end. Oh, baby. Stun. Blind! Ah! This is awkward. Oh my god, with the flying oh, wow. throat slit. <laughs> oh my god. Right, that's that. All teams back in it. You got plenty of cash now because somehow Legion got sniped. Team Huskers, back on top. Everybody's back in. Uh, I mean, as far as like nearly getting wiped out off the rip goes, getting the boys back in that quick is uh, certainly a positive thing. It looks like a bounty dodge for the guys on phase. I have, I but have taking a, a gander, another, I don't. Um, do they have any yeah, kills yeah, at all? Yeah. So Swag is sitting at zero. He's got the goose egg, and obviously he's still very early on yeah, in this probably, game. But probably, yeah, we should just chill. We're just waiting on. Load yeah, and kills is the name of the game. That is how you get those points. I think it's an egg card. Yeah, I don't think anyone's now. got anything. Yeah. Mm. We're chilling for now. Looks like yeah, they're waiting for the uh, the loadout to drop in as well. They're waiting for the the kit. There's press, that's a... Fly run? Yeah, that's what I... Just have recon. Oh. Trying to hear out of the play here. Okay. We saw recons in the last game. Huskers team picking up a two... I think two or three of them late. So we'll take that. I mean, it's it's real helpful. Okay, okay. hundred times better. You guys are actually close to that. Yeah. We've got at least one. Supply run's going to be close by as well. That's not far whatsoever. Oh, yeah, not many kills. Cluster strike in the back pocket there from Swag. We'll take that. That's going to come in handy later on. Kill streaks super valuable in, in Caldera. You know, not a lot of cover, a lot of open field to run through, getting pinned down by any fire. Yeah, you got that like hard defilade yeah, cover, know. but it always one. helps. No, we all get that. Yeah. Loot and scoot continues. I can get a, I can get a free one. I was about to say there was like nobody over here on the bus. Just listen to those comms chants again. Everyone's just flowing. Like, yeah. nothing on UAV. The boys, they're getting. This is. I don't know if this is bad luck or it's just the nature of like what can be quite a. A, a lobby with low numbers, you know, there's one team that's already been eliminated as far as we're concerned Like, you know, Caldera is not huge, but there is a possibility that unless you land peak, which we know teams are doing You know, you're gonna have like a more quiet opener when that can be a good thing or a bad thing It would be interesting if like a, a peak team that like lands there at like all six games sort of things like maybe never wins But if you get in the top 15 and again, just get a decent chunk of kills It is that slow climb up top, but this is the investment, and IP might not be a ton of action for the phase guys off the rip, but everyone's got the self res. You're in a good spot. You got UAVs. You know you're safer. You got the recon for at least the, the slight intel of where the, the circles are going to be developing. So, and get some high ground, put themselves in a, a decent spot. I think we just stay back. I think for the most part, it's just about the, uh, the execution aspect of it. Make sure you never put yourself in a spot where you end up getting third party. Easier said than done, mate. Odie's on its way. Just one box, right? Yeah. That's all they dropped. We'll take that. Let's see what the boys grab. So they are just on. Yeah, they're on cruise control. We'll see what the team grabs again. Is that automatons across the board? That might be a Cooper Carbine up the top left for swag. But again, everyone's loaded up. We're ready to roll now. This is where we should see them apply, you know, a little bit more. Okay, the UAV's up as well. Yeah, this is good. All right. Boys are equipped, get it out, ready for the fight, and here we go. They will march one by one into the fun. They're rotating towards us. And this could work out. Again, you can see them all perched up atop this tiny little They're coming up, I think. Cliff face. And uh, here we go. Here comes the gunfights. Let's have a at least two teams down here as well. By the way, I mean if there was a cluster strike getting called, I suppose they could have gotten wiped out, but there might be a, a decent chunk of action. That should be the first free kill going their way. And I think that might have been a team wipe, but yeah, After this, start. there should be one more team, at least. Biffle and Booyah start the party. Here comes Swag, trying to find one more at least. I think he's like underneath or something. UAV's coming up dry for the time being, but that's because these teams are closer. Yeah, 
They're getting cleaned up one by one. That's good stuff. Out of the team already. Like, nice. It turns this entire game around for them. And that's good as well. That's like armor boxes. You name it. They've got cash now. Self-revives all across the board. This team has turned around. If only now they can start picking up more kills. Then you start to look towards, you know, a much more fruitful game too. I just think, I, I mean, this is sort of what happened last time, right? Like you have a, a bit of action off like the, the hot drop to where I think 15 players have gotten dropped out of this game so far, but then it stagnates for a bit and then the end game can get a little bit wild. Aiden and the Brits though. Aiden has four kills actually. So I think this is where the all the action has been going down over towards the, uh, the airport slash airfield. Decent game they've strung together so far. Plenty of cash. Maybe buy a couple self reses and I think we're starting to see what a couple teams develop. Just a, a very strong, well-rounded three-man stack with the gear that you want. Yeah, again, loaded up. Still looking towards the end of a most wanted uh, is going to be Aiden. That has been a quiet play that we've seen. We saw him attempt it in game one as well. Somebody told me that Aiden, he may have lagged out of the first game, which is a shame for him. Like his PC disconnected or whatever. Like that's unfortunate. But again, like they started this one off great. People with a one kill, Juki's presumably sitting on a number of approximately the round there. Here comes the eye. Eyes on. You're not tripping, Aiden. You probably did game assist through that wall, bro. This is the way it is these days. Love this. The sending Juki's in. You're going to stay posted up. There's the first couple of shots on the way through. Now send in the Jukies. Unleash him. Pinned up towards the back car, and he's going to fly forward, take care of these weakened players. He's already got himself one. Here comes the second play. Oh, no, he does get dropped. And immediately cleaned up. Still, you put down a, a Duffy. 13,000 in it. You're going to be able to buy back Jukies, no problem. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, I like that idea, right? Just send one player in, so you can get a couple cleanups in the end, just add to your tally. Being squad wide, obviously, worst case scenario. And hey, making moves, going far away, finding that store, getting your boy back, you'll you'll take the one kill that you had and sort of cut your losses. Now they know where more teams are. Straight in front, at least one more squad up ahead. It might be a, a nice little battle around this shop. Yeah, they seem to have the drop on this team. Play a little slow. FIFA should be able to get the opening kill. And now the tension. Did they know they're being followed? I was seeing, I mean, one thing I haven't really been paying much attention to so far, but interested to see is um, high alert was something we saw a lot of players using early on in Caldera. Again, open fields. As soon as someone gets eyes on you, you know, it's, it's either that, running restock ghosts, whatever. But, like, I, I just thought it was such a useful strategy at times for a lot of teams. And here comes the opening shots. Kill him, FIFA. Cracked him again. Player pinned. Juki's back in the squad. Here we go. Chance there should be at least one kill. I'm not sure how many here, though. Could be a squad wipe if they get this one player. And if they pop the UAV and he's not on it, whoever he's fighting does have... Uh, a loadout, so. Yeah, I, can, I, can drop you. I can drop you in a sec. Guys behind here, Certainly not easy gunfight. FIFA's got to pin down, but FIFA also has to move. You, you see the positioning of his two teammates, so they got the swarm a little bit farther out. So they've got the swing. Whoever this is, this is just one poor soul. I think dealing with the whole squad. More tags. Armor cracked again, but still alive. That player running like hell. Yeah, but this one player has slowed this team down a lot. You know, you have to take every fight seriously because, again, the quality of the player in general. But, like, this could be more teams flying through. And who was that? Show me the player card. Who was it? They really made him work for that one. And I like it out of that player, you know, doing what they can to stay alive. But for this squad, who did have a decent start, outside of circle now, yet yeah, the fighting fit. Everyone has their loadouts again. Juki's back into it. And here comes another team. So maybe fortune favors these lads. And again, this is the nature of it, right? Like you are waiting for the perfect moment before you start taking fights. Yeah, let's go for it. Can't give anything away. Can't be solo challenge too much. You don't want to get third partied. You don't want to get your kills stolen. Like again, it's this is the hardest thing about these kill races. Oh, not kill races, but like these these custom game lobbies versus a kill race. It's like you know every kill counts, especially when we get towards the end of the game. 
But if you get something stolen, if, the, if you know another player gets the last bullet in, oh. that ruins a whole play. Recon's coming into effect again. So Huskers and his team, back-to-back -back recons. Little bit of information. And this is some high ground they're going to be playing with. Have they learned their lesson from game one, or will they try to throw again? I, <laughs> well, I mean, high ground, be damned. Either way, just the fact that they have the recons, they have just zeroed in on where that final circle is going to be. So... It might be a situation if they can even pull off just a second win overall that might just be devastating to the rest of the lobby just for the fact that you're just stripping away points like if you can hog that multiplier whether or not you're just like actually racking up a ton of kills just taking that option away could be huge and uh, again just an elite team in an elite position they know where they need to go they can pick their building they want for the final circle even find uh stores that are nearby so this is the, the planning stage for Huskers team just to maintain that lead. self gas, gas mask across the board. Everyone's going to be loaded, kitted out. Full strength team right now. We can't entirely see Huskers load out towards the bottom left-hand side. Again, if he has a mask or not, but you do know where to find him on Twitch. Check out him out if you, uh, if you so desire. Battle Royale extraordinaire. Been playing for a long time. Back in the H1 days, and now look at him, one of the kings of Warzone. Scanning the glorious island of Caldera. That's a player. <laughs> oh, good yeah, God. he's really far. He might be pushing me. But is that exploder? Yeah. Scum and effectively just spreading out the uh, UAV coverage. They're going to keep an eye on that player making the drop, and no, we'll see. We'll see where that player lands, because that could be, you know, you follow the follow the rat back to its little little nest and catch all the baby rats. And these... Sorry. I was going to say, it's honestly comical about, like, players probably getting pinged from, like, players out of the sky. You got Unrational moving in, like, for the angles. Huskers taking the shots, like... You have no idea when you're dealing with just like a full team of three zeroing in on you and planning their attack like two minutes at a time. Like, again, the level of stress in this game is a little absurd. Yeah, the anxiety is at an all-time high <laughs> playing in this kind of game, but everyone knows what they're doing. They've dropped in a little bit closer. Here comes the up close fight from Scum, and it's a big win. My oppose. See you later. Cleaned up, and this is exactly what they were playing for again. They're playing for the husk in the high ground. He's doing what he can, you know, provide information with that sniper now, bringing the fight closer. Get those MP40s ringing out. Send in those controller players, unleash them. Close range, you love it. Now they've got themselves a little bit of space to work with here, and they have circle because they did play that early recon, so all the information going their way right now. Definitely not as many kills, though, chance as they have had before, and Wars is. Good. Yeah, it it's got a stim. Does not look fun. We'll be honest. Does not look fun at all. I mean, Hisoka's out. For now. Skullface is good. And again, I heard Blake talking about Hisoka before. I mean, not just named after a, a deviant, superb anime villain-esque slash love interest. Kind of weird. Kind of gross when you think about it. But an absolute unit on the sticks as well. Really impressive player to watch. I have no idea what we're talking about, but I do trust don't the, the cod skill. Yeah, don't Honestly, ask. Very good anime and cod kids, it runs deep at this point. Like, you <laughs> it just... Does. It does. They're cracked. That's the way of the world. It does run player. real deep. Skull face trying to slide around. Playing in the pools. Staying cool here. It's a hot day in Caldera. It always is. We've got circle. Palms are starting to heat up, though. I don't see kills. At least not for skull face. Was oh uh, dear. okay. Yeah, this is dire too. They're calling out UAVs. That means they don't have ghosts, which means they are completely screwed. Trying to set a pinch, got nothing. Cleaned up. Excuse me. That's all I talk to my teammates. So that just means that they're uh, they're in the flow. That's true. All right, Sapphire's so gonna get Skullface back in the game, no problem whatsoever. Wars is tweaking, trying to stay alive down here. He's not in a great spot, but this little house is going to be his stronghold for now. Uh, yeah, 
I mean, that's the difference that the opening break provides. Again, if you're a team that's got the self reses, it's got the loadouts, it's got the ghosts, like you're in a great spot. If you don't find yourself in that spot, it is nearly impossible to deal with any of these team fights. Because again, you have three players like Huskers sniping you from 400 meters away as Unrational's flying with like the SMG. Like it is, you're dealing with menaces constantly. It is stressful. Isoka's chilling top right. You saw him checking under the bed, making sure there's no monsters down there. And right now, this monster, I imagine it gets teammate back up and about. That's why you buy self revives and everyone still has them. That was a team wipe coming through as well. So team Huskers, I don't know how many kills overall. Looks like at least four. Oscar's on two, Unrational's on two, Scummin has to be on more than that. Yeah, he's on four already. All right, cool. So these guys are back at it. The demons doing demon things. Game two, keeping things very consistent so far. 13 teams remaining here, Chance. We're in points. And this is like the, the pit, right? Like you are just in a, a bowl, effectively. The high ground sort of surrounds you, so you want to be centered up. It is going to turn into just building fights, but... They are very close to where this next turtle is going to be. Don't have to move too far. Get an extra streak as well to have in the back pocket. The cluster is not too bad to have. And honestly, this might be a little bit of pressure on Huskers. This would be interesting to see if he can use the snipe. I was going to say, very close range. He switches the MP40 for the actual close action, but that's a little bit of pressure to be able to hit these shots. Maybe rip some heads of players posted up in windows, because again, this will be building in window central. Except for that one dude on the mountain. I like it though. I mean, you heard the comms there. Russians like, look, bring the sniper out. And this is why you give the sniper to Husk. You get the single shot in, that heavy damage. The rest of the team's going to get the drought, the cleanup there. Going to get the down at the very least. I love it. Glorious coordination once again out of Husker's team. Yeah, one sniping, careful. MP40 in the back pocket just in case things get a little bit too close and personal. For now, Scumman, you can see him on the prowl. Well within circle here, Chance. See if they can find any more. Here comes the closing circle, though. That's going to now force those players on the outside in. It's going to get crowded. 12 teams remaining now. We're starting to run out of real estate here on Caldera. And I think, I mean, they had one player running off to their right that was, I mean, you know, 50, 75 yards away. The player on the cliff that they weren't able to clear up probably just found a building dropping down a little bit lower. So at minimum, three teams in this area. Right in the cluster. cluster is getting called in in the background i mean dude 12 teams left 24 people and the circle is tiny i this honestly might be the play because uh, i mean you're in the top 15 range for the bonus points which is nice but if you're trying to fight for first you got a long way to go see that see that and i don't think any of these teams necessarily want to be the first one to strike or maybe scumming does he gets one wipe five kills for him is Again, any player at any given time is just going to get shredded. It's coming looking for the next. Plus a strike, though, trying to clean up that player on the outside. Who's that above us? Good eyes. Plus a strike, I don't think lands. Or he's still actually firing in the distance. The salvo is still dropping in on that player. They managed to down at a distance. I want to be able to really make a dent on that player coming back in from the buy. But as you can see, circle getting even smaller. Oh, that's it's it. MP2. Oh my god. That glow that is a glaring error in the defense of this little hut. That huge open roof. If a team comes in from above there, I mean again, that's a, a snipe's an instant down. They could be pinched there. They definitely don't feel as safe as they were a second ago. There's also only like what? Like a two and a half buildings that are available in the final circle. <laughs> After that, it's just empty space. So yeah. I mean, they're just going to be posted. They're not going to move. They are just going to be tripled up in top. And meanwhile, Tommy by himself. He does have five kills. So maybe this is a team able to string something together early on. But now I think for Tommy, it is just a, a prayer to either be able to shoot some players in the back or hopefully for a bunch of teams to start fighting each other. It is. As Tommy has 17 players spectating him. 17 plus all of us now. Uh oh Oh, and shots. Movement move. on point. Let's go, Tom. Gets at Those least one. That was good kills, though. Across. I think everyone was at least five, six kills there for the team. I think so. They had 20 total. I think it was 20. And Husker seemingly has an infinite supply of cluster strikes, so we'll take that. Scum's going to get the quick revive here. He's got himself covered. Teamwork on point. You still have at least half a building to play with there, Chance. You were not wrong, my friend, but here comes the gas. 
They still have cover to work with. These silos in front of them are going to obscure the view in the fight for now, but hills, ladders, you name it. This is going to get a real ugly finish. A fight uphill now for this team. Where is it? it was looking so good from the circles pulled them away. We'll see what happens with the next circle, but oh baby, this is gonna get mixy. I was gonna, you have to go off to the right as well. Like you just, it, they they're pushing up now, and like these hills certainly have eyes. They're safe for the moment, and honestly, this is probably the same situation again, where this might be the only team of three and having the extra shots helps. Able to get that player on DJ Moss. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Been shot in the side as well. That might be a wipe. They're trying to protect their boy and. Honestly, so far, so good. If they get this res off again, this should be the only full team left in this lobby. I like this, sir, from Huskers. The detonate there with the frag going to buy him a little bit of time at the very least. A hit mark is cool, but for now, you've given your boys the opportunity to just get themselves back up, fight and fit, plates are in, we're still going. There are so many teams remaining in this situation right now. Another wipe, though. The teams remaining. Cracked up from down low. Scum is still trying to stay alive. It looks like they do manage to take care of... I think that was Swag they cleaned up as well. And Rational's down. Huskers has been cleaned up. It all comes down to Scumming. It's all solos for you too. Teams are starting to get wiped out. There's it's more and more players solos, around. Four, uh, one, uh, one v one v one v one. Four players left. All different teams. Good luck. No more plates. No more utility. Stim though to use. That bush is not a friend. It is a foe. Cleans up. Finds another one. It's Legion. Another Jeez. one from Scummin. And now it's a 1v1. I, this could be the tournament win right here, by the way, if he gets it. He has to stim. He has to stim. He does manage to get a single plate as well. This could be absolutely huge. Oh, my word. What a rotation this is. Scummin's still alive in this fight. Circle still trying to pull him out. That player has to leave this barn. Oh my god, he's hitting some parkour moves right now, friends. The trap is set. The player made the early rotation out. They've already managed to make the run. It's cat and mouse, and we can't tell who's who just yet. Yeah, the shots are out! Oh, scumming! Simply oh, couldn't get slacked. it done in the end. And it's our oh boy, JB. Slacked. Oh my God. What a 10 out of 10 play. 200 IQ runs out early. Knows that player has a drop on him. Slacked. What a finish. Yo, it's Slack just saved this, like, opportunity for first for everybody else, man. I'm telling you, if Huster Squad goes two for two, back-to-back -back wins, and gets the double up multiplier, and Scumman had, like, ten kills, like, they were about to have a better performance than game number one. If Slack loses that, I mean, you could just write it down.